Settle down for a bedtime story. We're going exploring. Are you ready? Arr! Ahoy there, sailors. This is much better than bicycles or skateboards. CBB's Bedtime Hour. Here to make stories with you. Imagine a story. Hello, I'm Floella, and I'm just tidying up here at CBB's. And what a mess Poi, Chris and Sid have left. I'll just put those books back here. And look at that. They've left the clothes out of the basket. And you know, there's a clue to tonight's bedtime story here. There's a sock, some shorts and a vest in the story. And it's about a little bear who loses his clothes. The story's called Bear Bear. Busby, a small, brown, bouncy bear, lived deep in the mountains in a neat little lair. One night, as he slept, a stormy wind blew, snatched his clothes off the line, and away they all flew. When Busby woke up, he cried, That's not fair! My clothes have all gone. I've got nothing to wear. Busby looked in the garden, then in the wild wood, and... There stood a hare in a red riding hood. In her basket she carried a check cloth, a fruit flan, and a small ginger cake to share with her gran. I Excuse me, said Busby, I'm sure you know best, but that cloth in your basket looks just like my vest. Last night as I slept, a stormy wind blew, snatched my clothes off the line, and away they all flew. The hair held up the cloth. Yes, I see you're undressed. You are short of clothes. Let me help find the rest. So Busby the bear, in his bright underwear, walked hand in hand with the rarest of hairs. They searched high and low. They looked everywhere. They walked in a circle and then in a square. Boing! Boing! Leaning out of a house that was clearly a clock was a mouse who was holding a striped yellow sock. Then he started to use it to polish the clock. The clock went tick-tock as the bear went knock-knock and the mouse, he ran down to unfasten the lock. E Excuse me, said Busby, I think that it's time to mention right now that that sock is mine. Mouse held up his duster. Mm -hmm. I can see you're undressed. You are short of clothes. Let me help find the rest. So the rarest of hairs and the mouse with no clock walked hand in hand with the bear in one sock. They searched high and lo, they looked everywhere. They walked in a circle and then in a square. Fee, fi, fo, fum. A warty great ogre who was wearing bright shorts thrust a hairy hand out and help! They were caught. Oh, how they all trembled as they hung in midair while the ogre stared hard at the mouse, hair and bear. You think that I'll eat you because I'm big and I'm strong. But vegetarians believe eating meat is wrong. Phew. Thank you, squeaked Busby, now down on the ground. It's so good to know that we're safe and sound. I hope you don't mind or feel out of sorts, but stuck in your hat is my lost pair of shorts. Oh, you're joking, you're kidding, it's surely not so. And the ogre boasts out with a loud ho, ho, ho. He pulled off the shorts. Hmm, yes, I, I see you're undressed. You are short of clothes. 